Hadith number 31, month of Ramadan. MashaAllah, which is just coming around the corner. Man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi muttafaqun alayhi an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Whoever spends Ramadan standing in salah with faith and seeking reward his previous sins will be forgiven. And it continues by saying, Man sama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. The person who fasts in the month of Ramadan with iman, with the intention of reward, all his past sins are forgiven. Then another hadith says, Man qama laylatul qadri iman wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. The person who stands on laylatul qadr, night of power, and all his, with Iman and Ihtisab, with the reward in mind, all his past sins are forgiven. So coming to the holy month of Ramadan is incredibly blessed. Every act in this month is multiplied manifold. In the lengthy hadith narrated by Sayyiduna Salman al-Fasir, it states that the holy Prophet addressed the Sahaba on the last day of Shaban. Oh people, here comes upon you now a great month, a most blessed month in which lies a night greater in worth than 1000 months. It is a month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made compulsory that the fasting should be observed by day and he has made the taraweeh by night a sunnah. Whoever draws near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by performing or by carrying out a nafal act in this month, for him shall be such reward as if he has performed a faraz in any other time of the year. And whoever performs a faraz for him shall be the reward of 70 faraz in any other time of the year. This is indeed the month of patience and the reward of true patience is Jannah. Subhanallah. So this reward of month of Ramadan, the Prophet Sallallahu two months prior to Ramadan, he prayed to Allah, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Sha'ban wa balighna Ramadan. Allah give barakah in the month of Rajab and Sha'ban and let us safely, healthily reach the holy month of Ramadan. Let us all do the same dua all the time. So the blessing of Ramadan is such, subhanallah, that we get this opportunity that the hadith says, if a person knew the virtues of Ramadan, he will wish that all the entire year, every month was Ramadan. So, it's amazing that we got the opportunity in the month of Ramadan, every good deed is multiplied. If it's a nafal act, it goes to the status of faraz act. If it's a faraz act, it's 70 faraz. And the fasting, as li wa ana ajzibi. Fasting is for me and I will give the reward. Like in all the other deeds, is man ja'a bil hasanati fa lahu ashru amthaliha the person who comes with a good deed he'll get 10 times but here there's no 10 times 70 times whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hadith qudsi is saying as-sawm li fasting is for me wa ana ajzi bihi i will give his reward others say wa ana ujza bi i become his reward so if the creator himself allah himself says i'll become so he will make us pleased he will be happy with us so this is the thing, the month of Ramadan, subhanAllah, is coming and we hear every month, uh, every year, the rewards of Ramadan. We need to really value it to make sure that we start to prepare for month of Ramadan, to increase our recitation of the Holy Quran. The month of Shaban is around the corner. We should start fasting in the month of Shaban. The Hadith mentions that Sayyidah Aisha says, radiyallahu ta'ala anha, that I've never seen the Prophet Islam fasting in any month more than the month of Sha'ban, except for Ramadan. That sometimes is to fast nearly the entire month. So at least my brothers and sisters listening, that we can at least fast on Mondays and Thursdays, which is the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And we need to make this a habit, fasting Mondays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm.